This year's National Cherry Blossom Festival is dedicated to the victims of Japan's earthquake and tsunami. Participants held signs and took pictures to remember those who were lost. We just came over here and take several pictures and then we can send them back to Japan and show them that we still remember them and we know what they're going through right now. A 9.0 magnitude earthquake and tsunami shook Japan, killing over a thousand people in early March. The president of the National Cherry Blossom Festival believes this year's celebration means more now to the U.S. Than ever. We felt it's important now more than ever to continue the festival, to continue the celebration of the Japanese and U.S. relationship, and again, the, the, the gift that was given to Washington, D.C. 99 years ago. After hearing about the disasters in Japan, a Virginia resident, Mary Switzer, had to come to the festival for the first time. So to be here with the cherry blossoms, for me, it's like I'm feeling I'm being with them and sending my good thoughts and wishes for their recovery. Japan's fight for recovery isn't a lonely one. Like the U.S., others around the world are reaching out to Japan. This is a very tough fight. But the consolation is that people around the world are trying to be with us. And especially Americans, the great friend of ours, the 16-day celebration includes Japanese performances, food, art, and now for the first time. Well, they have little cherry tree kits here at one of the museums, Smithsonian Museums, and I'm going to go buy one and start one. More than 1.5 million people are expected to attend the festival this year. Organizers have partnered with the American Red Cross to give proceeds to Japan. Reporting from the Tidal Basin, I am Denise Sawyer with CBS News Washington. This year's National Cherry Blossom Festival